Um, it's actually very exciting to work in the technology sector because, as you know, the tech sector moves very, very fast. Things change all the time. It's extremely competitive, and you're dealing with many challenges. There are technical challenges. There are challenges with consumers and changing consumer tastes. And there are also challenges with governments. That includes regulations, for example, and laws that governments pass that can impact your business. So every day is very challenging and every day is different. Uh, in the past year, the New York Times actually ran a series of articles talking about the man problem in technology. And, uh, you know, uh, what's been addressed is the fact that in engineering in particular, it is quite difficult for women. So we're talking about software programmers. If you look at startups, there are only about, you know, 12% women uh, engineers in startups and in large companies if you take Microsoft, Apple, Google, Facebook maybe the ratio is about 30 percent women that's just overall employment when you look into leadership ranks meaning the highest ranks of leadership you'll find even fewer women and how we address this Microsoft in particular the company that I work for is we are really making a big push in STEM in science technology engineering and mathematics for women. Uh, in Vietnam, we are launching a three-year citizenship uh, project. So for three years, we are spending three million dollars in order to promote science, technology, engineering, and mathematics for women. Part of this will address scholarships for women, and part of it will address um, women who work in our factory in Vietnam. We are the largest American uh, employer in Vietnam. Our factory there uh, employs uh, more than 10,000 people now, two-thirds of them are women, and the average age is 22. So we, we want to upskill girls, we want to invite girls and young women to be ambitious in technology. First, my advice is please show up to the event. It's, uh, it's Monday, March 16 at 5.15. And what's interesting about this event is it is a panel discussion, women in technology, why we do what we do. And we will have speakers from Microsoft, HP, Twitter, and CXA. The panel's representation includes women who work in government affairs, uh, an engineer who has become a startup uh, executive, uh, revolutionizing the area of insurance in Singapore using technology. And we have Twitter, of course, which is social media. And then we have HP, which is more on the hardware side. So I think uh, what will be very exciting, and Microsoft represents more software, cloud computing. So what will be exciting is to get the, the perspectives of these women representing different parts of the professions in the tech world and, and seeing what is it that has sustained their careers? What is exciting about working in technology? And also, what challenges have they encountered? How have their companies helped them, help them or not help them deal with these challenges? And at the end of the day, what gives them meaning in their work, in particular in technology? Because whether we like it or not, technology shapes almost everything we do and will probably continue to do so. So I hope that we will have an authentic, honest, and wide-ranging conversation. And I hope that it inspires the students of the Lee Kuan Yew School to consider technology as an area where they could work, particularly in government affairs, which is a very interesting field to be, because you will use all of your public policy education to tackle problems in technology, working with the public sector, with consumers and others, and to see how regulations and laws can be improved so that the technology sphere can continue to be vibrant and contribute to the competitiveness of, of countries around the world.